Assalamu alaikum, I'm Pavel and I welcome you all to the 12th lecture of the Calculus V tutorial series. In this lecture, we will discuss about trigonometric functions. As you can see that I have already written some of the formula here and in the previous lecture also we discussed about this topic and we discussed particularly about three or four formula and today we will discuss problems related to this particular formula, this four formula and we will use this particular formula as well and before watching this video it would be better if you check out the previous video so that things will be pretty much easier to understand okay so let's start with this problem and uh, before solving this problem let me tell you one thing that this video is going to be very very easy one if you can just memorize the formula so i'd like to request you to check out the previous video and check how the formula came and if you can memorize the formula then this lecture is going to be super easy for you all okay so let's start with this one first so here the problem statement goes limit extends to zero and then in the numerator you have sine 5x minus sine x and then in the denominator you have sine 4x okay so we will be using these four formula okay and i will tell you how to memorize this four particular formula in a moment and before that just let us apply the formula so you have sine 5x minus sine x so this is quite similar to this formula right sine c minus sine d and the formula goes like this 2 cos c plus d by 2 times sine c minus d by 2 okay so c and d here the value of c is 5x and the value of d is just x okay so we apply this formula so what do we get here in the next line we will get sine uh, sorry we will get 2 cos c plus d so 5x plus x which is 6x okay and divided by 2 times sine 5x minus x right so this is 4x divided by 2 okay and in the denominator you have sine 4x okay so we just write it as sine 4x so i hope that everyone understood this particular line okay now in the next line we can write twice cos 6x divided by 2 which is thrice x multiplied by sine twice x okay here goes the thing you see that in the denominator you have sine 4x but in the numerator you have sine twice x that means the theta here is double so we can do one thing we can apply this formula here sine twice x is equal to 2 sine x cos x so if we apply this formula then sine 4x it will become 2 times sine twice x times sine cos twice x so we can write sine 4x as 2 times cos twice x sine twice x you just apply this formula okay so if some of you are still a bit confused do not worry i will explain the formula once again after completing this math okay just wait a moment so now you have sine twice x sine twice x cancelled out and 2 and 2 cancelled out so you have cos twice x divided by cos twice x now you know that from this formula that when x tends to 0 then cos x is equal to 1 okay so you know that the value of a uh, cos theta when it becomes very small then the value of the ratio it becomes 1 so this value so when x tends to 0 3 times x is also 0 so it, it becomes cos 0 which is equal to 1 and also in the denominator cos twice x so it becomes cos 2 times x so 2 times 0 is 0 so this also becomes cos 0 so the value of cos 0 is 1 so 1 divided by 1 you get 1 so the answer for this particular problem is going to be 
1. Okay, so now let me explain the formula that we have used here. So starting with the first formula, sine 5x minus sine x, this particular uh, line is being solved using this formula sine c minus sine d. Okay, so how do you remember these lots of formula? So one thing that I used to uh, apply when I used to uh, memorize the formula, some personal trick you may say. Okay, so let, let me tell you the process that I used to memorize. So for the two formula of sine, you see sine c plus sine d or sine c minus sine d, these two terms are opposite. Okay, so one will be sine, one will be cos. But when you have cos c plus cos d or cos c minus cos d, the two terms are going to be similar. Either both of them are cos or both of them are sine. Okay, so the first thing you can write it down. So the first thing is that when the formula is involving sine, sine c plus sine d or sine c minus sine d, then the two terms are opposite. Okay. And when the formula involving cos theta, then the two terms are similar. So both of them are cos or both of them are sine. So this was first thing. Second thing, when the formula is sine of sine, uh, the plus sine, then it will start with sine. And when it's negative, sorry, minus or negative, whatever it is, then it starts with cos, okay? So the formula is of sine, if you have plus here, so it starts with sine. If you have minus here, so sine becomes cos. So some sort of um, psychology, you may say. Similarly here, so you have plus, so cos remains the cos. You have minus, then cos becomes the sine. Some sort of trick I used to uh, put in my mind to memorize, okay? So two things that I said is, the first thing, when the formula involves sine theta, sine c plus sine d or sine c minus sine d, then the terms are opposite. One is sine theta, another is cos theta. And the second thing is that when it is plus, then sine remains sine, I mean starts with sine. And when it is minus, then it starts with the opposite cos. So if you can uh, remember in this way, then I think it would be easier to memorize, okay? And another exception here is that, so the first term is always c plus d by two, that is you add the two degree uh, to the angles c plus d divided by 2 c plus d divided by 2 and the next term uh, is accompanied by c minus b d by 2 c minus d by 2 except this one this is d minus c by 2 okay so for c cos c minus cos d there is an exception okay so i hope now you can memorize that this is sine c minus sine d so this formula is of sine so the two terms will be opposite one will be sine one will be cos and here is minus, so it starts with cos. Very simple. So I hope that you understand this part. Now, coming to this part, sine 4x. So what did you do here? Sine 4x. So you see sine twice x, it becomes 2 sine x cos x. So here, the theta becomes half. So here it was twice x, now it becomes x and x. So you divide the theta with 2. So you have 4x, so it would be twice x and twice x. Very simple. So I hope that you understood everything that I discussed here. Now let us apply the same formula here. Okay. So sine c minus sine d once again, so it's minus, so it starts with cos. So 2 cos c plus d by 2, so x plus 9x. And then the next term is going to be sine because they are of opposite terms, then it becomes x minus 9x divided by 2. And in the denominator, you keep it as it is. Because this time, we are going to get a sine 4x in the numerator. Okay, So it becomes 2 times cos x plus 9x, 10x divided by 2, so which is 5x times sine of uh, x minus 9x, which is negative 8x divided by 2, so minus 4x. And now we know that sine of negative theta is negative sine theta, okay? So the minus sign comes in the front. So it becomes minus two cos five x times sine four x divided by sine four x, okay? 
Now this 4x and this 4x cancels out. So we are left with only minus 2 cos 5x. And we know that when x tends to 0, cos 0 is equal to 1. So minus 2 times 1, the result is going to be minus 2. I hope this time you understood. Okay. So even though it seems a bit hard, but after a few lectures, you will find that this particular lesson is the easiest of all. Okay. So just bear with us for some time, then things will be easier day by day. Okay. Now let us solve this particular problem. So here you apply cos c minus cos d. So you know that in terms of uh, in case of cos, both the terms are similar. And when it is minus, then cos and minus, so it becomes the opposite, so sine. So we will have limit x tends to 0, so it becomes 2 sine x plus 4x, so it becomes 5x divided by 2, okay. And then sine this time d minus c okay so you remember here this was an exception so 4x minus x so sorry we did a mistake it was twice x so i just didn't notice it so twice x plus 4x is 6x divided by 2 so this is going to be thrice x and then 4x minus twice x which is twice x divided by 2 which is only x and then in the numerator you have x square okay now the things are going to be very very easy now you have to uh, take help from the previous lecture okay so you pause the video have a look at the previous lecture if you haven't yet okay and then come back at this point then we'll see 2 sine trice x divided by x sine x divided by x okay now we have to do one thing we have to adjust the theta here because you have sine trice x, then in the denominator also you will have to put trice x, okay? And this particular part is being discussed in the previous lecture. So it becomes 2 times sine trice x divided by trice x. So since we uh, divided this term with 3, then in the numerator you have 3. So the 3 and 3 cancels out, you get the previous term, okay? Now, sin x divided by x. Okay. Now, this particular term, you see, limit x tends to 0, sin x by x is equal to 1. So, this value is going to be 1. And then, when you apply this part, limit x tends to 0, this particular term is also going to be 1. So, this is also going to be 1. Then, you have 2 times 3, which is 6. Okay. So I hope that if you just remember the formula, then these problems are going to be super easy for you. So if you have any doubts regarding any of the problems or any of the formula that I discussed in this video or the previous lecture, then please let me know in the comment section. And in the next lecture, we will discuss some important formula. And the next lecture is going to be very, very important because in the next lecture, we will combine both this lecture and the previous lecture. So you'll see that here, I mean, you have to apply this formula, also the previous formula that we discussed in the previous lecture, okay? So this is going to be a uh, less easy. I mean, not that much difficult, but less easier problems. Uh, those are going to be, okay? So we will end this class now. If you like this video, please inform your friends about my channel and then subscribe to this channel so that these videos reach to more and more people and you can also share the video among your near ones i mean those who are students and it might help them okay so stay fine until the next video allah is